Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to start um, looking at the uh, October-November 2017 IGCC ICT Paper 2. Of course, we, we, we have done a couple of videos um, in, this, um, in this paper and um, in the last uh, videos, we have been looking at um, document production. So in this section, we're going to start looking at databases. So the scenario is that a trainee is developing a database for Tawara Cruises. You're going to create some reports for Tawara Cruises to test this database. Make sure all currency values display a currency sign of your choice. Hallelujah. <laughs> and add to, to, uh, add to two decimal places. Okay, so step 19. Examine the data uh, in the files um, n17cruises.csv and n17liners.csv. Um, so let's go ahead and examine the data in, the, in these, two, these two files. So open the liners file. Um, this, um, yeah. So you examine the, the data that is in there. This is purely text data that is there. We have some numbers here. And also, if you go back to this one, um, cruises is this one. Um, select it and um, enlarge the. So examine the data that is there. Um, um, you, you're practically looking out for the data types um, that is there so that when you import this file in Access, you have um, the files very well um, and ready. Okay, good. Using a suitable software package, import the file n17cruises.csv. Okay, so I'm going to close these now because I don't need them for now. Um, so I'm going to close them. I'm not going to save anything. So close this one as well. I'm probably close this one. I don't need it. Let me just free up my memory. Okay, good. Um, so I'm going to open access and um, I'm going to create um, this is October, November. October, November. Okay, 2017 paper two. Okay, create. All right. So now we're going to import um, the file in question. So go on, um, on external data. And from, um, from text file, we need to import um, the file. So import, then uh, import the source data into a new table. So make sure that is selected. Go to the file um, in question and we're importing what file name now. We're importing cruises.csv is this one. <coughs> All right, excuse me. Right, so let's go through the normal process of importing a file. First row contains field names, go to advanced, and we need to select the data types from there. Right, so um, the data types that we have are that liner code and vessel name are text, cell date is date, embark is date, um, destination is um, text. So embark text, okay, this is date and type. Duration is supposed to be um, numeric. Uh, daily cost is supposed to be currency. Okay, so change this to currency. And um, vessel capacity. Mm -hmm. So vessel capacity is supposed to be numeric and um, adult only is supposed to be Boolean. Okay, so let's go ahead and change just that. So the last one, I doubt only is supposed to be pulling. Okay, so the rest of the things, I think this should be fine. Okay. Um, now, you will notice um, for Axis that um, Axis has got a way it works with um, dates. The default is that it starts with the month, the day, and the year. And this, of course, sometimes may prove to be difficult um, um, for certain times when you try to import information. So we are told that the format is supposed to be DDMMMYYY. Um, so I'll just put it in this format just for now for the date order, but um, we'll always um, change when need be. Okay. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do uh, now is to go to next. Um, the data types are now fine. So I don't need to change anything. So that should be fine. I'll go to next. And then um, let's verify if we've been asked to give a primary key. Um, do not create a primary key, so thank you. 
um, use this, uh, these field names and data types. We've just done that and saved the data. So let's go ahead and save the data. Um, and um, so uh, what, uh, let's see, no ways, no primary key and next and finish. So the next thing that you're supposed to do is to um, get screenshot evidence showing the field names and data types used in the table and insert this screenshot into your evidence document. So I'm going to um, get this. I don't need this table, so I can probably close it. Um, let me just delete it. Uh, can I remove it? Um, unfortunately, I can. Okay, I can delete it from there. Good. Right click design view and you need just to get a screenshot of this. Okay, so get a screenshot of this. Okay. Make sure that the data type are consistent with what was shown there. Copy it and paste it in your evidence document. So evidence, paste it there. And probably we now need to push. I don't know if we need to push anything down there. Or we can push this up a bit. Um, anyway, let's just push it down. I don't even need to push it down anyway. It's just wasting time. <laughs> <coughs> okay. So uh, what I'm going to do now is to Okay, import the file liners, CSV as a new tab in your database. And um, let's just go ahead and do that. But first of all, we need to set some properties for this table before we uh, well, let's say format is supposed to be yes. Yes, no. Then daily cost is supposed to be currency of my choice. So format I want to use, let's say dollar. Dollar is fine. And um um anything else, sell debt. I need to know the format for the debt. So the format for the date is supposed to be the month is supposed to be like this okay it's supposed to be medium date um like this one okay um then uh yeah so this is fine um, i think these are the uh, things that we needed to set for this one so save it and um close it next we're going to import um a new file um go to the same place and export liners now um, go through the same process of importing. Next, uh, first row contains field names. We're not changing anything here, not even the data types. Um, but we need to be careful because we are told to set the liner code as the primary key. So go ahead and set the liner code as prim uh, primary key. So choose my own primary key and select liner code. And then next, and then finish. Okay, so once this is done, um, we're going to create a relationship between liner code field in the cruise table and liner code field in the, in the liner table. So go ahead and create this and um, take screenshot evidence showing the liner code field set as primary key. Okay. And insert this in the screenshot. So first of all, let's go ahead and create a relationship. The database tools, relationships, and get both tables. And um, you can say close and just enlarge this one. So just drag and drop this um, there, enforce integrity and create the relationship. So now that the relationship is created, what we need to do now is to um, go to uh, liners and go to design view and get a screenshot of this to show that you have um, done the, um, okay, so this is liners and you've done the primary key thing. Okay, so paste there. Okay, so, so that's the evidence document. Set the primary key. Insert this in your evidence document and go ahead and do just that. So key field is this one. Then next, um, we need to um, we need to get um, so take screenshot evidence showing the relationship between tables. Insert this screenshot into the evidence document. So go ahead and show the relationship between the tables. Just get this. Um, um, I prefer sometimes um, to use this window um, just um, uh, on relationships. Let's see, design tools, um, edit relationships. Where are you? Okay, just um, double click there. Um, unfortunately, this one is not showing me um, the relationship I want to, to show for these two tables. Okay. Um, Edit relationship. Okay, that should be fine. So put this here and get this screenshot like that. Okay, and copy it and go ahead and paste it in your evidence document.
okay so that's that's it it's a, it's a, it's a large one that should be fine um next okay mm -hmm. all right so let me see how much time i've used in this one okay 10 minutes that should be fine now guys you're going to pardon me i don't want these videos to be um, very long a number of you guys have told me that some 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 old videos were quite long and you lose concentration at some point so uh, let me make them as short as possible maybe 10 minutes each if that should be fine so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you shortly in the next video